Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through whether or not I think the Google IT Support Professional Certificates offered by Coursera help me get a full-time job in 2023. Now, just to give you guys some context about my situation and who I am, I'm a senior at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia, majoring in Management Information Systems, and I've already received two separate job offers for a full-time role in cybersecurity. Um, so I wanted to make this video to show you guys whether or not I think the Google IT Support Professional Certificate has helped me get these two full-time job offers in 2023. Now, I also made a video similar to this one about two to three years ago talking about whether or not I think the certification helped me get a job in retail technology for a part-time job while I was in college. If you're interested in that video, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below that you guys can go ahead and check out that video. But with that being said, guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through three different things. The first one is going to be talking about exactly why I decided to take this course in the first place about two to three years ago. Number two, I'm going to talk about exactly what I learned from this course. And lastly, I'll go ahead and talk about whether or not I think this certification helped me land these two job offers this year. Now, before we go ahead and get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. My name is Ben and I make videos about cybersecurity, my career and making money online. If you're interested in any of those, go ahead and join the family. We're going to have a big year in 2023. Now, with that being said, though, guys, let's go ahead and talk about why I decided to take this course in the first place. Now, just to give you guys some context, about two to three years ago, when I was a sophomore, junior in college, I was sort of at that crossroads where I had to decide exactly what I wanted to do with my career. Now, for me personally, I knew I wanted to do something involving business and IT, and I ended up deciding to major in management information systems, which is pretty much a major with a mix of business and IT. Now, the reason why I knew I wanted to do something involving business and IT was because of the fact that I decided to take this course. And the reason why I took this course was because I wanted to get a better understanding of exactly what I was getting myself into. And this course itself is pretty much made exactly for that. Someone who is completely new to the industry. So if you're someone who is in high school and wants to decide what they want to do in college, or if you're someone who is in college and has no idea what they want to major in, or if you're someone who is brand new to the industry and you want to make that transition into IT or cybersecurity, this course is going to be perfect for you. Now, to give you guys some context about the certification itself, it's for complete beginners. You don't have to have any background or experience in technology, IT, cybersecurity, none of that. Um, you can be completely brand new. And this course is comprised of five different courses that talk about five different aspects of technology. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through the five different courses right now. So the first course talks about the pretty much the fundamentals of IT. Uh, course number two is the networking piece where it pretty much talks about how information is sent from one computer to another and how, how that works pretty much. Uh, number three is talking about operating systems and how operating systems uh, function alongside the hardware and the computers themselves. Uh, number four is system admin and IT infrastructure. And lastly, course number five is IT security and this is pretty much where I was the most interested in and what really drew me into cybersecurity. So if I were you guys, I would use this course to pretty much determine whether or not you think IT or cybersecurity is the right career for you. Because that's pretty much how I use this course. And it pretty much led me down the road of getting interested in cybersecurity and knowing that I wanted to get into a cybersecurity career once I graduated. So around my sophomore or junior year in college, I completed this course in about one month. And as soon as I completed this course, I made sure to include this on my resume right away. And I will tell you guys this, having a certification on a resume, uh, whether it be a sort of an entry level basic one like this, um, also has Google on there. So it's gonna look really good on your resume. Uh, but the main reason why I think it's really important to have a certification, even, it's, even if it's a sort of an entry level certification, um, it really shows to your employers, if you're someone like me, who is looking for entry-level roles, it shows them that you're someone who is open to learn, willing to learn, and also taking initiative of your own learning. And that's exactly what they wanna see when it comes to these entry-level roles. They don't expect you to learn and already know everything. They wanna be able to bring someone in who's easy to work with and is hungry and willing to learn. And that's exactly what these recruiters are looking for for these entry-level roles in cybersecurity 
or IT. So I ended up adding this certification to my resume and immediately applied for multiple different jobs in the retail technology and customer service facing industry um, so I could work a part-time job um, throughout my college career. So I ended up working and getting a part-time job and ended up working there for about three years total now. So as of right now, my resume has the Google IT certification. Along with that, I have three years of customer service facing technology experience. Now, because of these two experiences, I ended up getting summer internships with a cybersecurity role inside of a consulting company that I ended up working my junior year uh, summer and also my senior year summer. So to pretty much summarize it all up, I have two back-to-back -back summer internships in a cybersecurity role for a consulting company that I did in my junior and senior year. I also have the three years of retail technology facing and customer service facing uh, experience and also my certification from the Google IT support professional certificate. Um, that is pretty much my resume as of right now. And I pretty much use all of this experience to apply uh, for the full time job offers that I've received. Um, and it's pretty much turned out really well for me. So to pretty much summarize this all up, the Google IT support professional certificate won't directly give you a full-time job offer in IT or cybersecurity, but what it will do is get you experience to build yourself up, build your resume up to eventually get that full-time job offer in cybersecurity or IT that you've always wanted. So if you're someone who is completely new to IT technology or completely different industry, the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, in my experience, is a great place to start. If you're interested in taking it, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the webpage uh, to get you started. With that being said though, guys, that is pretty much it for the video. If you found a lot of value in this video, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. With that being said though, guys, thank you for watching and I'm out. Peace.